hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be making a garland or rather attempting to make a garland and i am gonna be using this uh, modeling clay i got it from take a lot it's a uh, one kg apparently it is a fast drying or air drying uh, clay so I am gonna be attempting to be using this to make a garland and I am also gonna be using this twine for the strip of the garland to connect my um, clay onto it and I am gonna be uh, poking holes with this I do not have something proper for making the holes so I decided to just use a stick around my yard and I am also gonna be using this pair of scissors for cutting the twine and I've got this uh, dowel I I also don't have the tools for molding the clay and stuff like that I'm just gonna make do of what I have so I'm gonna be using these for rolling if there's a need for me to roll I also have this uh, for wetting my clay or if I need to use my hands I use my hands because mostly with the clay you use um, your hands and I also have water i have water here so yeah let's just get into the video and make this baby come alive but first i am going to be cutting down my twine
this one it was 1999 and i got this for 11.99 and i want to make a candle um holder so yeah let's see how this goes also looks like my glue is done let's see if i have any here Okay, so we are, okay, I did attach this now. This is how it looks. So I am also going to use this clay and roll it. Just need to move my thing before it... I want to try and cover the base of this um, dessert bowl with a clay. Hopefully it does work and fully cover it.
Hey you guys, so today we are going to be uh, finishing this off because my beads are dry now. So this is my beads and first things though we need to um, unravel this. And since I do not want to be spending the rest of the day undoing this thing. It takes uh, uh, some time to undo it so I decided I was gonna use my dog brush yeah you get to use anything that makes your life easy so I'm just gonna brush and the whole reason why I'm doing this I want to get this fluffed up effect because I just want to make them look more like this. You see, as opposed to looking like this. I want them to be more fluffy. What I am going to be doing, I am going to be feeding it onto this twine which I twisted and then I'm also going to be using this needle to feed it through the holes here hopefully it, it goes through you guys because I mean I did the most here but anyways I also unraveled these I was using a dog brush you know you just um, sorry about that you just brush it out like that it was the easiest thing that I could think of because of the teeth you see how the teeth looks like they are very very fine and I mean it it it, it took me best part of me uh, of a minute so let's start feeding through I've already put in on the one end okay my fluff it up a little bit yes so i am just gonna be feeding it through like this into my gallon and then also what i would like to do is tie in a knot in between the beads so that they don't you know clash amongst one another and to prevent them from breaking because i mean this is clay after all so you might just want to do that and also of course the um the beads themselves because it's clay they are not even you guys so it's not like this was a machine i mean it's something that is handmade so yeah it's there are some are small some are big some are slightly bigger like way too big but that's the beauty in in this in any case so i'm just gonna quickly feed this through so far so good they are going in nicely so yeah 